Good morning, children. How are you? Hope you are fine. Okay. Now today in maths, we will start with a new topic that is tens and ones. So, what is the meaning of tens? Means ten things. Ones means one that we have already explained. Hmm. So now, how many fingers you have? In one hand you have five. Another hand also you have five. When we do it like this, we do namaste. Hmm? The same way it becomes one ten because how many fingers total you have? It becomes ten, and it is one ten. Aman man, please come. Fold your hands. Now this becomes two tens. Vishal, please come here. Fold your hands. Now this becomes three tens. How many tens? Three tens. One ten, two ten, three ten. Yes, Vishal, you may go now. Aman, ma'am, please. So in the same way, you have to count in your house how many tens you have. Means your mama, papa, dadi, baba, your sister or cousin, anyone. Tell them to fold the hands and make it one ten. And tell me then how many tens you have. Understood? I'll explain you on the board also. Same thing. See, one ten. One tens equals to ten, and over here we write t and o as usual. Then two tens, twenty. Three tens means thirty. Hope you are understanding. Pay attention. Four tens means forty. Then five tens equals to fifty. Six tens equals to sixty. Seven tens seventy. Eight tens eighty. And nine tens ninety. In the same way, ten tens. What does it become? Can you tell? Try. Yes, it becomes one hundred. Means we write H, T, and O. So, what is your work today? You will count all the tens in your house. Tell your mummy, papa, daddy, baba, or sister, brother to fold their hands, and you will count. One ten, two ten, three tens, or four tens, and so on. And you will tell me how many tens you have. Okay. Now I'll call Aman Ma'am to explain further. Okay, kids. I hope we have understood the concept of tens and ones. Let's do some questions. Okay. Suppose we have here one tens and. Four ones. What will this make? One tens and four ones. What will be this number? Let's see what ma'am has written. Ma'am has written one tens is what is this? Ten. So one tens would be ten. Very good. And we have something else also here. And four ones. Four ones means four. So we will have. We can write T and O. One tens means we will write below this T. We will write one, and we have four ones. So O stands for ones. We have told you in place value. So we will write here four. Now what is this number? One four. What is the number? One four. One four, one four is fourteen. So we will write the number name now. What is the spelling of fourteen? F O U R T W E N. Fourteen. Okay. Let's take another example. Suppose we have three tens and 
seven ones. What will this be? Let's write. We'll write here T and O. Okay. So we have three tens. Three tens is three. Seven ones. So below this O, we will write seven. So what is this number now? Three seven. Three seven is thirty seven. You know the number name? So we'll write the number name. Thirty-seven. Okay. The questions can be in another form also. Suppose you have been given a question to expand. First is suppose 12. Now you have to expand it in form of 10s and 1s. Okay. So we have 10, 12 here. So what we will do? We will write T, O, we will write here 12. So now we know how many 10s are there and how many 1s are there. See it is so easy. If you write T and O, you will be very much clear with the number of 10s and 1s. So, since we have uh, below t, we have 1. So, we will write 1 tens and how many ones we have? 2. Since 2 is written below o, so we have 2 ones. 1 tens, 2 ones. 1 tens and 2 ones. So this is the expanded form. Okay, I hope you must have understood this topic. Bye-bye. Take care.